Pumps in the bump. Oh, give me the girl with the pumps in the bump. And the rumps in the. Sneakerheads. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Kicks and Politics. I am the fly connoisseur, truth teller, young skills. And I am the outrageous neighbor, Mr. Mr. Trooper Man. And on today's episode, we will be discussing low key greatness. Shoe number one on our list for the low key greatness is the Nike Alpha Dump Pure Magics. Now, these shoes were actually inspired by Aaron Gordon's performance in the 2016 dunk competition. Look, y'all remember. Look, my man jumps over the mascot, sits down in the air, and yam cakes. We got here black on the upper along with blue details. We got a white midsole and the zoom air cushioning on a translucent blue outsole. These shoes are retailing for $180 and can be found at Nike.com. This is the Nike Alpha Dunk Pure Magic. Shoe number two on our low key greatness list today is the Air Jordan Mars 270. What we have here is a beautiful all white leather upper with hints of purple and teal in the midsole. The one thing that I like about this shoe is in the midsole it has the air unit, the 270 air unit. It also has a clear milky outer sole. This shoe releases for $160. Unfortunately, it doesn't have release date information. Shoes like the Mars 270 just dropped. So be on the lookout. It will be releasing in October. Shoe number two, the Air Jordan Mars 270. Shoe number three on our list for the low key greatness is the Air Jordan 12 University Gold. Now, what y'all are looking at is that black leather on the upper along with the university gold on the mid and outer sole. This is perfect for you still as fans. What up, Moon? What up, Gooch? These are going to be retailing for $190 and can be yours July 2020. That's right, y'all. This is the Air Jordan 12 University Gold. Shoe number four on a low-key greatness list is the Air Jordan 4 Mushroom. This shoe right here is a woman's release, but it's rumored to come in extended sizes. What we have here is an all wheat suede upper with sail on the midsole and sail on the outer sole. An iridescent jump man falls on the heel and the tongue of the shoe, and this shoe releases at $190. It's available right now. Shoe number four, the Air Jordan 4 Mushroom. All right, y'all, it is time for Now or Never. Y'all know how we do. We show you the shoe if it's a now. You got to have it. If it's a never, you wouldn't grab it. So I'm going to start this off with the Nike Air Max 97 Nintendo 64s. Goodness gracious. What we got here is the black mesh on the upper along with red, blue, and green with a yellow air cushion. Now, these are retailing for $190. And for me, this is a now. This shoe looks just like the N64 controller. Now, I had an N64. Did you have an N64? I had an N64. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all had N64s, man. This is definitely a now, hands down. Don't even gotta think about it. Brother man, brother man, how you feeling about these, man? Once again, I would have to cop it twice. Wanna rock, wanna put on ice. This thing is that nice. Uh, I like it, people. But before I even go into how deep I like it, real quick. What was one of the games you played on 64? Uh, GoldenEye. And for me, it was Crash Bandicoot. I mean, who can relate? This is a real dope shoe. Look at the air unit. I'm, I'm infatuated with that one part about it. You can see that from a distance, it's really cool. But it's not about what I think, and it's not about what Trooper thinks. We want to know what you think, people. Leave your comments below. This is the Nike Air Max 97 Nintendo 64. My selection for the Now or Never segment you ready for this? Let's take a look into the future of Nike's basketball technology with the LeBron 17. What we have here is an off-white grayish upper, knitted press upper with hints of orange throughout. This shoe also has a very nice iridescent Nike swoosh towards the heel. And the one thing that I really like that stands out about this shoe is it has a remove before flight tab on the heel of the shoe. This shoe releases for $200. And for me, 
I'm having mixed emotions. Stop. We don't do mixed emotions, Negro. This is now or never. Y'all see he tried to wing. Nope, now or never, man. All right, all right, so, so on that notion, with no mixed emotions, I'm gonna have to say that uh, this is uh, never. I can't see myself spending $200 on this shoe, people. Um, for the price point, I, I like the shoe, but for $200, I just can't do it. I don't know that much about LeBron. It, maybe for the LeBron fans, this is a good price point. But for me personally, I just can't do it for 200. Maybe if it was $100, I would definitely do it for 100 and 125. But Trooper, what do you think? I think this is definitely a never. Uh, it looks like the shoe has some type, of, some type of rash or like herpes or something on it with the bumps. I don't know what that's about. Um, but I, I don't care how much the shoe costs because I would never get it. This is definitely a never, but who cares what I think? Who cares what he thinks? What matters is what y'all think. So leave a comment in the box. This unfortunately is the LeBron 17. If you made it this far, that means you're still rocking with us and thank you for the love and support, people. We've reached the end and that means kick of the day. Kick of the day is not necessarily a new shoe or an old shoe. It's just a shoe in your collection that you'll rock all day. My kick of the... Well, before I get into kick of the day, I want to take some time out to say thank you. Thank you to everybody that's been subscribing. When you take time out of your day to like, comment, and subscribe on our videos, it does wonders for the product and the brand. So we just want to take time out to say thank you back. Seriously, everybody. Thank you. Um, without further ado, let's get into the shoe. My kick of the day is the Air Jordan 33. Ooh, that thing look like a bullet. Yes, it does. <laughs> Now, me and Trooper have this shoe in just about every color that has dropped, but the color that we're gonna talk about today is the 2019 All-Star Edition. This shoe was released in 2019 during All-Star Weekend. This is a shoe that a couple of you guys have left comments about, and some of you guys that know us personally have actually called us and asked us what shoe is on your foot. Well, here it is, people, the Air Jordan 33. With a very futuristic look, this shoe has an all silver mesh and platinum upper with a silver mid and on the lateral, a black two-colored midsole, two-tone midsole. In addition, it has a gummy clear outsole. And if you look close, you'll see it has an iridescent paint job on the inside of that gummy clear outsole. On the right shoe, we got the red strap. And on the left shoe, we got the blue one. And on the strap, it says, Air Jordan 33 designed and engineered to the exact specifications for flight. Fire! Nike sign on the back is super amazing. It's made out of some type of hard metal. It could be plastic, but to me it feels like metal. And a Jumpman on the front is the same material as well. This is the first time Jordan has used the no lace system. Right here. You see that? This is how you tighten your shoe. Put it on, bow, pull this. And as you pull it, y'all hear that clicking? That's it actually tightening on your foot. To loosen it, we got a little yarn right here. Pull that to loose, boom. And that's the completed look right there. Now nah, we got it, that's, that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> I had it messed up at first. That's how it's supposed to look strapped up. And as you can see, it has the Air Jordan 33 right there on the tongue with the star for the All-Star Weekend. And we got it, the 33 on the pull tab on the heel. Yes, this is definitely a nice shoe. And this is the Air Jordan 33 2019 All-Star Edition. And like we always do at this time, I am the fly connoisseur of truth teller young skills. And I am the outrageous neighbor, Mr. Mr. Trooper Man. And you've been watching Kicks and Politics. Thank you so much for the love and support and the subscriptions. We'll see you on the next episode, people. Chill. Peace out.